An outlander, huh? Well, who else would join me on this path I've taken? Which path would that be? Away from tradition. Away from the Werak. It's not so... But my need is greater. Most of the don't accept help. Is it true? They don't. I do. Never know when I might need these.
blink, my eyes will be shut. You fight well. I am a Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. You look like you could leave if you wanted to, so... I stayed because of the other. My Lynn. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. You know this, my Lynn, well. Since our knees were always skinned. All my life. In a test to prove that we only need ourselves. That was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. So let's get her back to the Warwick. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. Aloy? Are you with me? Hello? Let's go. While there's light. Come. Up. That's where we're going. The frozen flow from the ice faller. It keeps many things, but it won't have her. Not if we can help it. <sighs> More up? We're lucky. Handholds have thawed. There. She's passed out again. Between us, we can fight the machines off before they reach her. Uh, another tradition broken. Take it from me. It gets easier the more you do it.
now. This won't be easy, Aloy.
can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You border here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you. The ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Lynn? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. Finish it. I know what you think of me. But I vowed you'd join the White Teeth. And you will. I will go back. <clears throat> Alone. <clears throat> no! Let me do this. Please. Let her. My Len, I hope you can forgive me someday. I never accepted your help. It's the where act you should ask for forgiveness. I didn't care about the where act. She'll understand. You saved her life. You don't know the Benuk very well, Aloy. We have so many ways to express a grudge, and only one to accept an apology. I have to go my own way. I don't belong with them, who left her to die. And I don't belong with Ikri. I'll find a crack in this glacier, and I'll shout my grief into it. And the ice can keep it forever. What should I tell them? Work that I fell. And that she endured. Will you? returned. I expect you have something to say about this? I do. Then convince me what an outlander's word is worth. If this was a test of her endurance... I'd say she's endured more than many could bear. She put your Werak above all else. That was what kept her going, through the pain, and through the loss of a friend. She survived for you. Don't turn her away. She is a fine teller. There is a place for my land with the white teeth. I do not dispute it. Outlander, 
So nothing of the other hunter? The one called Ikri? She's gone. She sounded brave. Her name will always be in my song. Some company I don't mind keeping. What can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed love. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then, they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. And you know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. So, I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago. And I'm starting to worry about them. I'm not a debt collector, Burgrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course! Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. But uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. It's odd to see new machines in the cup. But we want to let them frighten us. We're Banuk. We hunt. Machines in the sub. For their own sort of corruption. I wonder what sort of challenge they face. None of them.
My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunderstrom. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I underestimated you and our attack. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of the new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost Figures, here I come. The Frost 
figures. Our attack on Araya must be close. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander! I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this, so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well... Yes. And as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Now! <laughs> 